I began my knighthood in Daventry with nothing to my name except a feather in my cap, a cape for my back, and an appetite for adventures. Questing led me to recover King Edward's magic mirror, and he rewarded me with his throne. I inherited a flawed but charming kingdom, and I worked tirelessly to restore the land to its former glory. In a few short years, I had grown into the king I'd always wanted to be. And while I was proud of the daventry I had shaped, something still felt like it was missing. Wait, no, there is absolutely no way that could be right. There's no way that could have happened. I was too invested in that owl. I must have missed a detail in the story. No. I didn't abandon that owl family. I found a way to save their son. Leaving that nest empty without its baby owl is not really a branch we are going to explore. No, no, I am forgetting an important part of the story. I should retrace my steps. Fine, you're right. I ignore that baby owl's high-pitched hoots for help. Actually, I took delight in the sound of its vest shredding on the badger's claws. In fact, I scared the bushy-tailed picnicker away so I could gnaw the owl myself. I spewed an evil laugh <laughs> as I plucked the last feathery tendon from my teeth. I knew this would be the end of that irritable owl! Is this the story you wanted to hear? No? Are you sure? Good. Give me a second. Let me gather my thoughts and remember what happened correctly. Grandpa, watch out. A poisonous yeah. snake. Actually, snakes are venomous, Gwendolyn. But that's beside the point. The baby owl did not meet its end that day. Something's still missing in this bird brain equation. I'll try again. I began my knighthood in Daventry with nothing to my name except a feather in my cap, a cape on my back, an appetite for adventures, and a small shovel in my pocket. Buried in the soil was a tiny, spiniferous thorn seed.
Hmm. No treasure there. That looked like a great spot for a spiniferous thornweed plant to thrive. A tiny acorn had been planted in the dirt. I planted that miniature acorn in the ground, a way to commemorate new beginnings. That trellis looked better over there. Over there, really. Something's still missing in this bird brain equation. I'll try again. Or here. Hey, I'm flexible. The family of chirpy owls brought a smile to my face, but anguish to my heart. My kingdom was thriving, but I was low. Who was I building this Daventry for? The loneliness of the road that night was only offset by the company of my hungry, rumbling tummy. I headed back to the castle for a bite to eat. What good is all this food with no one to share it with? What? Oh, how rude of me. Here you go. Sire, Daventry Decree 74311... I know, I know. No animals are allowed at the table. What? Did Amaya ever respond to my invitation for dinner? She said she had dinner plans tonight. Don't know with whom. She was a bit vague. What? You're right. Perhaps the guards would accept an invite for dinner. Oh, uh, Graham, we'd love to. We'd love to, but... Yeah, yeah, decree 911 to the 23rd power. Afraid so, sire. As you were. Oh, before I forget, Larry, you know I restored the budget for your own personal steed, right? Oh, right. Uh, my own personal steed. Uh, thank you. Well, I suppose I could use the surplus on masking the odor of... Number two. What? No, I mean Royal Guard number two. What? He smells like syrup. It's intolerable, really. It's gotten so bad my helmet fogs up. You'll get used to it. What? You're absolutely right. We should create a dinner guest out of all this extra food. Why didn't I think of that? <sighs> what good is all this food with no one to share it with? old.
Such big muscles. Can't believe you had trouble finding a girlfriend. I worked all those muscles for myself, Gwendolyn. Thank you very much. Someone had placed a second throne next to mine as a hint. I bet it was royal guard number two. He was growing old and anxious for Graham kids. Really? You're using your own name in puns now? You're right. That pun was chairless. <laughs> You're absolutely right. We should create a dinner guest out of all this extra food. Why didn't I think of that? That's a good start. What else can we add to her? You're right, she does need a cape. A purple cape. What about a hat? What should we use for the face? Well, would you care to join me for dinner? Dinner sounds lovely, but I'm only allowed to leave my post in times of distress. Or, if that plate of peas needs to be replenished. Oh, I think they went too strong on the lavender again. I can smell the spices from here. That might work for a cape. Hmm. Huh. to the lavender. You're right, she does need a cape. A purple cape. What about a hat? What should we use for the face? What about a hat? What should we use for the face? What should we use for the face? Ah, oh, perfect. What should we name her? No, that's my sister's name. You know that. I'm thinking something that ends in a soft consonant. It was at that exact moment when the magical mirror called out to me. <gasps> the mirror showed me a magical reflection of a tower far away in the kingdom of Kolima. It told me that the princess I would marry was trapped at the very top, waiting for me to rescue her. Wasting no time, I grabbed a beautiful ring from the royal treasury and headed off to save my future wife. Ha! Ah, looks like my nursemaids are here. Can you excuse me for half an hour? You got it, Grandpa. Gwendolyn, 
it's your move. Oh. What's taking them so long? I'm honestly not sure. He's probably just distracting the nursemaids with his jokes. For four hours? Would that really surprise you? No, I guess not. So, are you excited for Grandmother's birthday? I haven't even picked out her present yet. Mother helped me pick out mine. I'm told it's the perfect gift. All right, children. Your grandpa is now ready for you. Uh, Gwendolyn? He asked to see you first. Can we go together? Best not to overwhelm him all at once. Besides, I need God's help with the daily decrees. Is it all right if we finish this after lunch? Go ahead. Wouldn't want to keep him from his favorite. Your grandfather doesn't have favorites, Scott. He loves each of you in his own special way. Now tidy up and meet me in the throne room. I've got three trays of appetizers with your name on them. Own special way. Eh, doesn't matter. Not with addendum 48677 in the books. Oh, bother. Come on. There's got to be another one in there. Just one more. One last quest. Another notch of my feather. A voyage to Neptune's kingdom. A journey through the infinite desert. Please, Mira, one final adventure. Mm. Grandpa? Ah, just the person I wanted to see. Are you doing all right? I am now. Did they find you the right medicine? Your company is better than any medicine in those vials. Yeah, now. Sit. This time, you picked the story. Something with a dragon, perhaps. Actually, could you tell me more about Grandma? Everyone knows she's a great queen, and she's nice and regal and wonderful. But none of that's helping me pick out her birthday present. I want to get her something really special. Of course. I suppose there's no better place to start than at the beginning when my travels led me to the Enchanted Isles. Grandpa, Mom used to tell me this story before bed. Hasn't everyone in Daventry heard this? You climbed that tower, rescued Princess Valenice, fell in love, and lived happily ever after. Well... <laughs> Fairy tales have a bad habit of simplifying matters of the heart. They weave tales that love just happens easily and with no effort required. The real story is far more exciting than what you've been led to believe.
I hadn't even met my love, and I was already falling for her. Fate brought me to that tower to find my true love. But which one was she? I played with a magic mirror to show me a sign. Princess, will you marry me? Wait, hard pass. Hard pass? You've only just laid eyes on me, and now you're proposing? Don't you believe in love at first sight? Oh, sorry. I'm nearsighted. All I saw was an amorphous cape cliché stumbling into my bedroom window. Oh, please stand up. You're, you're embarrassing yourself. Uh, yes, well, uh, <clears throat> my apologies. My one true love. Seriously? I just watched you propose to my friend. Over there! Like ten feet away! So that's a... Uh, no? Yes. I mean, yes, that's a no! Well, <laughs> no bother. We shall now proceed with the rescue mission as planned. Princesses, if you would be so kind as to toss down your long, luxurious, golden locks of... hair? <laughs> You're joking, right? No one's had that hairstyle for decades. Centuries, really. Please tell me buried inside that ornate cape is a real escape plan. Like a trained eagle! Or flying berries! Or an adventuring rope? Adventuring rope? You're a bit of a ropeless romantic now, aren't you? Well, looks like you're stuck here with us. <laughs> An intro might be in order. My name is... Uh, earthquake? Not quite.
steady that shelf! <laughs> oh, good catch! Over there, if you would! <laughs> Lovely! Right there! Oh, to your left! But... Thanks. Good looking out. Hmm. I felt like the magic mirror was playing games with my heart. Was it watching every move I made? Did it already know who my queen was? I needed to relax. I needed to be myself. I... I needed to help clean up the mess I made! <laughs> what was this dark magic? An invisible wall guarded the outside world from me. If I wanted to impress the princesses, I would need to find another way to get that vase. A vase sat just outside the boundaries of a spell keeping me inside the tower. Hmm? <laughs> Which princess did you talk to first? Hey there. Sorry about earlier. Things got a little... weird. Hmm. Apology accepted. I'm Graham, by the way. As in King Graham of Daventry. As in King Graham the... Brave. Brave, huh? Hmm. Nice to meet you, Graham. I'm V. As in, Princess V of Eastern Kalima. Is V short for something? Uh, yes, it is. Yep. So, um, I should also apologize for forgetting my adventuring rope. I guess nothing was planned in my proposal. Adventuring rope? Oh, that was a bit of a lark. Rope wouldn't matter much anyway. Uh, it, it wouldn't? <laughs> Don't you think if there was any way of escaping, we would have done it by now? No, we're all bound to this tower by some outdated wizard spell. You know, one that needs some antiquated ideal of love to break it. I see. I knew from reading Courting Queens to Hold Court the importance of a good first impression. I would have to choose my next words carefully. So... Are you originally from Kolima? Born and raised. My family travels a lot, though. I've never been away quite this long. Do you come here often? To this tower? Well, it's an embarrassing story, but I'm not one to lie. An old woman bet me I couldn't climb to the top of this tower and beat the record. I'm never one to back down from a challenge. Did you beat the record? Of course I did. Crushed it! <laughs> But now I'm trapped up here. I do hope Dad is not too worried, and that he remembers to change the Leviathan's water. Leviathan? Another question, if you'd humor me. Whom would you say you admire most? My dad. He taught me everything I know, and was never afraid to take some time off the throne to play a game of wits or strategy ship with me. What about you? Whom do you most admire? The legend named Achaka. But that might be a story for another time. Who would you say is your best friend? Why, niece, of course. We've been best mates since birth. Even though our kingdom frowns on it. What about yours? Triumph? Um, Sir Triumph the Third. He's a person. He counts as a real human friend. That was actually a bit fun. Thanks. We still have work to do, though, so back at it. Hello. I thought perhaps I could introduce myself properly. And your name is? Uh, my name? Uh, of course. I'm King Graham of Daventry. King Graham the... Brave. Hmm. Brave, huh? 
pleasure to meet you, Gram. I'm known as Nice. As in, Princess Nice of Western Kalima. So, how did you get trapped up here? Well, I saw this tower on the edge of my kingdom, and a little old lady told me there was a majestic unicorn at the top. I leapt at the chance for adventure. My siblings are never going to let me live this one down. Oh, I hope they don't have to clean my room. I have too many important art projects that need finishing. So, what about you? What brings you here? Oh, wow, I was also looking for majestic unicorns. Are there any up here? There was a goat with a glued-on horn named Mr. Mr. Fancy, Fancy Cakes. Cakes. <gasps> Have you met him? One does not simply meet Mr. Fancy Cakes. One is awed by Mr. Fancy Cakes. Tell me about it. Not sure where he ran off to. Oh, we never are. Nice chatting, but we really should get back to cleaning. Do you have any ideas on how to grab that vase? I'm sure a caring gentleman like yourself has a plan. Do you have any ideas on how to grab that vase? I'm sure a clever fellow like you can figure it out. This puzzle box busted in the fall and could use some fixing. Hey, were you invited up there? <laughs> it was cold at the top of that tower. All I knew how to make was chocolate chip pancakes, and I didn't see any chocolate chips. The sparkly purple book had a winged pegasus on its cover. Perhaps one of the princesses would know where it went. The take-home version of the Battle of Wits. Huh, I didn't see a spot for board games. An unfinished masterpiece. No idea where this belongs. Shame. It looked like the loot cracked in the tumble and was in need of a repair. Advanced crosswords, riddles, and puzzles. The whole book was solved already. I wonder who it belonged to. That belongs to V. I can't stand that game. Ask her where to put it. My dad and I used to play this game for hours. It goes on that shelf. Appreciate it. Beanstalks, peg eye, and magical manatees. There's property of Nice all over it. She should know where it goes. That's not Baroque, is it? Okay, good. Ask Nice where that goes. I'll finish it someday. Until then, it goes over there. The hidden magical world. Each page brings me more joy than the last. Can you put that over there? Appreciate it. Very nice. Bongos. Perhaps they go with the kitchenware. Thank the shining stars that didn't fall on your head. You could have ended up with a percussion. 
Anyways, beats me where those go. They belong to Nice. My bongos! Ovi says these are nothing but treble. Can you put them back over there? Oh, that's these. She loves logic puzzles. Ask her where it goes. Thank you. I read that at least three times a year. Could you put it back over there? Appreciate it. Some sort of nunchuck made of bone. At least it was a self-sustainable business model. Those are these. She never lets me touch them. She'll know where to put them. <laughs> what can I say? As an only child, I was in constant need to keep myself entertained. Appreciate it. Round peg, square hole. Not too shabby. Excellent work, Graham. Hmm. It's Hagatha! You better hide! <sighs> oh, I can't stand that soggy woman. I won't even speak to her. V, that's not very nice. Might not be nice, but it's true. You've never been one to give the time of day to people you don't like. Seriously, she looks like a melted marshmallow. Everything chip chop up here? Ah, <laughs> oh, how are my delicate little flowers? Hmm? We're splendid, Hagatha. Thank you. Eh, uh, looks like you lovelies missed a spot. How's the face, Aquilos? What? What was that? Uh, uh, nothing. That's right, dearie. A good princess should keep her thoughts on the inside. <laughs> Just like we practiced. <laughs> Out of place? Um, aftershock? Oh, sweetie, we'll need to continue working on your awkward bungling. I've been working on my sleep giggles, too. Perfect. Perfect. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. That smell. From over there. Yes, yes. What do we have here? Agatha, would you like oh, to... interrupt? It's rude! Whatever you say, slimy cucumber. 
Looks like another princess is showing up party. But the pr princess? Long flowing gown, pale skin with rose colored cheeks, an elaborate headdress, and wait. Oh, the scent of lavender. I recognize a princess when I see one. Welcome to my tower. I'd invite you to dinner, but you don't really have a choice. <laughs> Agatha, good one. <laughs> um, I just have to ask, is that your nose, or are you eating a turnip? Eh. Oh, well, what a funny little princess. Humor does not suit us ladies. It would do you well to remember that. Now come, it's time to eat. Ugh, hum's face. Hey. Hush! What was that? What's everyone feel like for dinner? I'll take savory. Sweet, please. After dinner, Agatha excused herself and told us to get our beauty rest like all good princesses should. The sun was setting, but none of us were sleepy. V suggested we play a game to pass the time. Nice picked out Moral Quarrel, a casual social game. V preferred something more competitive, but begrudgingly went along with it. All right, the first step is we answer all the cards in front of us. We must answer honestly or the game won't work. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years, or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return, or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon. I'd want to be a dragon with a pet dragon. Is that weird? Would you rather A, have a tail that never stops loudly tapping against the ground, or B, have noodles for hands? Well, that wouldn't allow you to pick up anything. Dragons have tails, so tail. Would you rather A, constantly reek of syrup and not smell it, or B, constantly smell reeking syrup. I actually like the smell of syrup. First, we mix up our hands. At the start of our turn, we choose which player we want to try to pair with. We'll then ask the question from the card at the top of our decks. If both asker and askee answer the same way, they both place the card on one of the three spaces between them. Once there are three cards between the two players, they both win the game. If there's not a match between players, the card must be discarded. If a player runs out of cards before matching three, they lose. Graham, are you getting all this? Oh, Mirror, which one is it? Is it B? Is it Nice? Do they like me? Do I like them? What does my breath smell like? Oh, lavender and ooh, eggs. We're inside. Should I take my hat off? What if they don't like capes? That's silly. Everyone loves capes. What if they're allergic to triumph? Please tell me this is my inside voice. What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Just in my relaxed box. Ready to begin? Graham, you start. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, 
you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years, or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? Hmm, let's see here. A. I agree. I would spend the long life becoming a master at the skills I have. Graham. A rich merchant inadvertently drops one shiny gold coin on the ground. You see a poor, hungry orphan pick it up. Do you A. Convince the orphan to be honest and return the coin, or B. Turn your head the other way and let the orphan keep the coin? A. I figured their honesty would be rewarded with more than just one shiny gold coin. Nice. I chose A too. The orphan learned a valuable lesson, and would probably be rewarded for their honesty, too. Graham? You have been hunting for your starving family all day, and only managed to catch a small goose. On your way back home, a hungry beggar offers you magic beans in return for the goose. The beggar tells you that the beanstalk sprouted from his beans will lead you to a chest that produces unlimited food. He would go after it himself, but his legs are too tired and old. Do you A. Kindly reject the offer and bring your starving family their dinner? Or B. Let the beggar eat the goose and plant the beans in your yard? B. I mean, magic beans. Yep. Magic beans. Magic beans. You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return? Or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? I pick A. No, I picked B. Throw Charles in the dungeon, and I could keep a watchful eye on him. Niece? It says, You are the kingdom's wizard doctor. In the middle of the night, an honorable knight and despicable thief arrive at your door. The thief's injuries are much more severe than the knight's. Do you A. Heal the knight first, or B. Heal the thief first? I picked A. The Honorable Knight served our kingdom well, and he deserves to be healed. I picked B. I would honor my medical oath to serve those in need first. V. Oh, this is pretty on the nose. A man you've never met, but is known as a friendly king, sends for your hand in marriage. Do you A, accept his invitation, trusting his reputation, or B, seek love on your own? Is there any other answer than B? Of course. I chose the same. Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon? I pick B. Actually, I'd rather have a pet dragon. Our moat monster is looking to retire. Graham, you're poor and a thief pickpockets your only coin, forcing you to go hungry for the night. A few days later, you see the same thief get robbed of his dinner by two bandits. You chase after the bandits and get back the stolen food. Do you A, return the food to the thief, or B, keep the food, teaching the thief a lesson? I'd return the food. Hopefully a good example would turn the thief around. Oh. Actually, I'd eat the food. You said I was poor and hungry, right? That thief will be fine for one night without dinner. Hopefully he won't steal again. Graham? Your best friend is planning to marry the love of their life on the day of the wedding. You discover that their fiancé is a gremlin, using a magic spell to disguise themselves as a human. 
The gremlin assures you it loves your friend and begs you to keep their secret. Do you A. Tell your friend anyway? Or B. Keep their secret? B. I wouldn't want to ruin their special day. Nice. Me as well. Would you rather A. Have a tail that never stops loudly tapping against the ground, or B. Have noodles for hands. Well, that wouldn't allow you to pick up anything. Is there any question? A. Agree on A. I need these hands for adventuring. It was a close game, but in the end, I won with Nice. She looked like she was holding in a victory dance. V looked upset. Not because of me, but because she hated to lose. When the sun went down, the air turned frigid. We decided it was too cold to play another game and headed to bed. The walls of the tower were pretty thin and embarrassing as it is to admit, that night I overheard the princesses talking about me. So what do you think of King Graham the Brave? I'm not sure about him yet. I'm not sure yet either. This seemed like the perfect time to explore the tower. I was interested in getting to know my new home better. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess locked herself away in a tower and patiently waited for a charming prince to come rescue her. Oh, I do miss her. The months turned to years, and no prince ever came to whisk her off to a happy ending. Years of appearance-changing potions eventually took their toll and backfired, turning the princess into a soggy hag with a floppy tail. But the potion could be reversed, right? She could lose the tail, and and her skin would change back to normal. I'm afraid not, Gwendolyn. Agatha took it too far. There was no coming back. The witch grew bitter and mad. She began kidnapping princesses in order to increase her chances of being rescued. That seemed to be missing a piece. <sighs> the enchanted canvas painted a younger portrait of whatever stood in front of it.
Hagatha never left the town, so she would send the princesses on her errands. They would fetch this ingredient or that trinket. She used a special enchantment to poof them out of the tower and after some time, poof, them back in. Why didn't they ever tell anyone they were trapped up there? If they did, the spell would instantly pull them back in. <laughs> Magic is so arbitrary. Los Charcistra. I'm flashing that ring again. Not gonna make that mistake twice. Uh, how's it going? My favorite puzzle box is broken. I'm not sure how to fix it yet. Want me to try to fix it? I'll get it. Hey there. What's shaking? I cracked my loot, and I don't have the right tool to fix it. Want me to try to fix it? Do you have the tool I need? Uh, nope. Then I'll take care of it. I was stuck. I needed advice. Too bad I couldn't just dot over to the town square. Or could I? This sorcery was very finicky. It would teleport you away from the tower, but only for a limited time. And you needed something from the place you wanted to go to. tournament board. Don't know why I need this, but that's never stopped me before. The tree had grown. The branches had filled out. It was looking good. Should I say big buddy? Wow, that neck. Have you been gargling peanut butter? Uh, uh, thanks for noticing. And looks like the shop's been through some changes too. What happened? Well, I saved up all my earnings from my night jobs, which I have you to thank for. And I rebranded this place. We still got the crafts, just not the witch or the wizarding type. Can I interest you in some macaroni art? Well, I'm just window shopping, actually. Hey, do you know where the Hobblepots went? I really could use their wisdom. Oh, they packed up and retired. Somewhere by the beach, I think. End of an era. Can you believe it? I can't, actually. Oh, um, congratulations on your new store, Acorn. Sorry, time is moving way too fast. I'm just shocked they're gone. Hang on now. Perhaps I can help. Give me a try. Well... I need advice on love. It's a long story and I'll explain later, but I may have met someone or someone's. How do I know if she is the one? Oh, love, huh? Yeah. 
I got this. I know about love. <laughs> Out with it. Love is all about belly rubs. Um, long walks through the forest and staying warm. A proper diet is a must, mostly made up of lean proteins and nuts. You're just reciting tips from that guide on how to take care of squirrels, aren't you? Of course not. Um, proper grooming will ensure... I can see your finger following along the page. All right, fine, I was. And I'm not sorry. You know, if I could knit clothes for every forest animal, I would. Squirrels are people too, Graham. But easy now, Acorn. Wouldn't want to wake the bull. I'm sorry, big buddy. Been a little on edge since Princess Madeline's trip back to Avalon. Now, I'm supposed to meet her there, but... I've just been so focused on setting up the shop. Maybe you should seek advice elsewhere. Well, I'm here, I guess. Might as well see what else that guide has to say. Hmm, let's see here. How about this? What type of squirrel... Oh, special lady friend is right for you. Use these questions to help you find your perfect breed. <clears throat> Bride. <laughs> How do you imagine spending time with your new... Uh, love? playing fetch, tug of war, and hide the acorn. Got it, moving on. How energetic do you want your new squirrel <clears throat> special lady friend to be? A bolt of lightning. Next up, which trait is critical for your new squirrel, uh, I mean girl, to have? Pick two. Gets along well with children and large families. And... Affectionate. Never leaves my side when I get home. Moving on. How important is it that your special lady can live among other special ladies? Uh, let's stop right there. This might not have been the best idea. No problem. I'll go ahead and tally the results. Tallying, tallying. Oh, the spell. It's kicking in. It's pulling me back to the tower. The who is pulling the what? Graham, what have you gotten yourself into? Wait, no time to explain. Uh, oh, the blanket. Could I borrow that blanket? The tower gets really cold. I'm sure it does. Here, it's on the house. Thank you. Uh-uh. No smoking in the shop. Don't you know how combustible silk is? Fine threads and fires don't mix. Ooh, ooh. The bull is in the pen. The bull is in the pen. Oh, your perfect match is a chipmunk, wherever you are. Graham, good to see you. Oh, it's been a while. Hey, Wenty, Bramble. Where's Taylor? Oh, he's at home. Probably cutting up our curtains again. Why, when I was that boy's age, I would roll dough for hours every day after school in me ma's shop. But not my boy. He doesn't have the stomach for hard work. Or the stomach for sweets. Can you imagine an eight-year-old not liking sweets? Oh, it's not like Frosting's an acquired taste. Ah, well. He's just on a different path, I guess. Oh, I just hope the path of his shears doesn't cross with me duvet cover oh, ever again. come on, little boo. Mr. Fancy Cakes looked fabulous in that velvet floral tuxedo. Oh, at least he stitches from the heart. Now, Graham, what can we do you for? So, I actually don't have much time and no possible way to explain why. So, I'll just come right out and ask. I need advice. I may have met someone, or someones. How do I know if she is the one is? <laughs> well, well, it's like I always say, compassion comes from the heart. All you need is pie, I know. I mean, I do. Look, these bakery puns are becoming stale and honestly, the yeast of my worries. I need to rise to the occasion. It's all or muffin. Excuse me. I've got something in my rye. All right, you two. You're baking me crazy. Now, Graham, 
If you don't mind, can I answer your question with a question? Pro seed. Now it might sound cliche, but just like our spiniferous thornweed pie, real love isn't about the outside. It's what's baked in the gooey center that counts. Have you discussed and your- And hugs! What? Lots of hugs! Wenty, don't you hug everything? Oh, uh, no. You're hugging yourself right now. I am not. Uh, sorry. Uh, we've been working on that. He's only supposed to hug things that give him joy. But Bramble, everything gives me joy. Uh, Wenty, we've been over this. I don't think that vagrant skunk brought you joy. Uh, it did. I have a problem. Hug. Ooh, later, Sugarbum. Graham still needs our advice. Well, if you had to pick your top two core values, what would you say you are looking for in a companion? I would say... A good relationship with her family would be nice. I've been whipping up large batches of choco chip pancakes and, uh, <clears throat> and uh, practicing sharing. Oh, and also... Affection. I buffed up these arms for snuggling. And hugs. Oh, the spell. It's kicking in. It's going to pull me back. Spell? Oh, what have you gotten yourself into? Uh, I'll have to explain later. Oh, I could also use a recipe. You got one I could borrow? Oh, of course. Sweet or savory. Huh. Sweet. Ah, let's see here. I have... Ban apple, sugar shroom, coca mel, sweet butter brickle, starberry, and choco nut creme pie. I only need one recipe. Um, that was one. Oh, here, sweetheart. This beginner's recipe should be a bit simpler to make. Thank you. <gasps> All right, you have ten seconds. Go. Oh, I am glad we got to catch up. But I didn't get to thank him for the popover. Do you think he would turn up again soon? The next time we see him, we should... And you're done. All right. Oh, hug. Hug. Amaya! Oh, it's been far too long. Wow. Are you here for a permit? A permit? For what? These concealed weapons? Seriously? My washboard is broken. Can I do my laundry on your abs? I'll think on that. Come on! At least let me sharpen these boots on those calves. Hey, I'd recognize those shiny biscuits anywhere. Are those- What, these? Of course not. He's just a friend. I admit to nothing. I see. I guess Whisper can- Don't. Say it. Ah, Zards. I tell you to think before you speak, but we all know that's not the Amaya way. Well, the Amaya way is exactly why I'm here today. I need advice. On love. It's a long story, and I'll explain later, but I may have met someone. Or someones. How do I know if she is the one? Z Hold your snoots, Muscles. You came in here to ask me about the mushy stuff? I did. On purpose? Uh, trusting my gut landed me in a pretty embarrassing situation. Z All right. Emotions. Emotions. I can do this. It's like Papa always told me. Marry quick and without care. If they leave you, it won't matter, because, you know, you didn't care about them. Um, not helpful. Fine, fine. Digging deeper. Oh. Ah, uh, what's this feeling? Weird. Graham, I'm not sure where I dug this up from, and I hope to bury it immediately after we're finished, but... Can I ask you a question? Fire away. I know most people will give you a gaga head in the clouds response about the ingredients for true love. But have you given any th ah, th thought to what you're willing to put up with? Like what you could learn to love? Oh, you mean like if she's... Mm -hmm. 
like if she's uh, clumsy. Well, so what? It could become endearing. And also, if she's... Oh, she's messy. Well, I could be the clean one. These biceps have buffed a lot of floors. Oh, the spell. It's kicking in, pulling me back to the tower. The what? The tower. No time to explain. It's... I'm sorry. Which way is the tower again? <sighs> that way. The tower is that way. Thanks for that. Oh, a, a tool. Do you have a tool I could borrow? For, you know, fixing stuff? Sure. What size are the bolts? Um, uh, the twisty kind? Here, take this old wrench. She's got at least one good fix left in her. Thank you. Ah, oh, King Graham. What have you gotten yourself into? Twinkle Toes, I need you to run. Through your mind? No, not through my mind. Graham needs you. No detail would be overlooked. Underneath Manny's mask was a face of a goblin. Nice twist. This might help. Where did you find this? Have you heard the name Amaya Blackstone? The Crumbler? The very same! Sounds... <laughs> you wanna perhaps learn a ditty? I would love to. Here. Now repeat after me. Now you try. Wonderful! Great! Wonderful! You are a quick learner. Could you play me a melody to help me sleep? How about something with a bow and some strings? Who said violins? Doesn't solve anything. <laughs> I was slightly disappointed there was no mention of me that night. Grandpa, boys aren't the only things the girls talk about? <laughs> I learned that lesson long ago. Someone's at the door. Just a moment. Be there in a jiffy. Agatha, it's been forever. You're looking. <laughs> Agatha, so nice to see you. Malden, your English is coming along superbly. Well... Thanks for noticing. Care to join me for a spot of tea? <laughs> now, Hagatha, I know better than to set foot inside this tower, but I do appreciate the invitation. You never know. You might like it better in the air. The view is quite nice, and if it ever rains, we'll move. I grew up in a cave, so I'm fine with a small, cold room with a view of rubble. Speaking of small and cold, please tell him to be careful with this. The message will be received. I'm serious, Malden. 
I've spent my life coated in a thin layer of cosmo lotion. It's a potion. It's not a panacea. Duly noted. Oh, I almost forgot. He wanted to return this book he borrowed. Said he doesn't need it anymore. Ah, yes. How to tame your dragon. Shame what happened to Hornswoggle. I wouldn't count it out just yet. The nostrils on that beast can see just as well as two eyes could. They never smell those arrows coming. Good day, Morden. It's always a pleasure. The pleasure has been mine. Fare thee well, Hagatha. One night, Hagatha invited us all to her pretty princess ball. I was nervous and excited. Tonight, we shall have our pretty princess ball. It will be everything we've always dreamed of. That's not a princess move! It's turn, turn, twist! Not twist, turn, turn! <laughs> was really lovely. Thanks, Hagatha. And Princess Graham, of course. Thanks to you. Oh, what a glorious evening. Oh, 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 thank you, ladies, for a wonderful ball. I wish it would never end. Uh, perhaps it shouldn't. It was at that moment Hagatha realized she had everything she wanted inside the tower. Her happy ending was right in front of her. She would freeze time to keep that moment forever. I wonder if I can make a large enough batch of fruits to tonic. You and Graham are so sweet. Shh. Hush up. That night, my nervous anxiety turned to happy butterflies. I went to bed with a smile on my face. I had won some favor with Hagatha, and she sent me on a special mission. Princess Graham, the time has come. 
Pirates, I have a very special mission for you. This magic won't last long, but I need you to bring me back the Keys of Harmony. Your spell will teleport you back here once you've picked it up. I need to make sure I can trust you. <gasps> You know, Grandpa, I think you told me this part. Are you sure you're not getting the stories mixed up again? Sadly, this is not a senior moment, I'm afraid. Those potions smell pungent and acidic, but... <laughs> hmm, oddly familiar. Huh. Someone fancied himself quite the storyteller. The book collection had grown over the years. The sorcery of old looked like a new edition. What a comfortable bed. That helmet sounds familiar. As it should. Hornswoggle's peaceful snore almost made me regret piercing his eye. Almost. Teaching English as a second language. You're slouching again. Try to stand up straighter. And then I hid again. Bring it over here. It'll take all night to prepare. Must we go through with this? After gazing upon Hagatha's face, I question the validity of that elixir. Hagatha's enchantments are stunted by the towers she locked them away in. Out here, with a little air, this sorcery can reach its full potential. We'll have to let this sit overnight. For now, we sleep. I want to voice my concerns again, brother. You, of all people, should know what it's like to wear a mask all your life. A scarf that obscures your vision. A helmet that hides your face. This body has taken my mind as far as it can go. Now, good night. Please snuff the torch. Our parents were wrong to hide you from the world, but at least they didn't forget about you. No, instead they fed you, they read to you, they raised you as their own. I was a whipping boy for 16 years. For what? A stupid goblin prank? Watch your tongue, brother. You're beginning to sound like a human. A silly goblin took you in from the coal. A dull goblin taught you to read, and a stupid goblin gave you a second chance at life. Please forgive me. I misspoke. Am I wrong to believe that the mind is what should matter? Is my trust in brains over brawn misplaced? I've dedicated my life to prove that, given the right resources, our species is capable of higher thought and that even a silly little goblin can lead this kingdom. That's the change I want to inspire. That's the progress Daventry needs. Oh, you're right as always. And the Cosmolotion is the only way around your banishment from King Graham. King Graham? King Graham was a fluke. We'd already be at the castle toasting to our divine intellect if it wasn't for that bumbling, red-nosed, feathered half-wit. Did I ever tell you he asked what my availability for sleepovers was? More. Hey, I am not a fluke. Hey, Gads. Did you really just say that? 
Well, don't just stand there. Grab him. Oh, oh. Stay right there. Don't move. Gwendolyn and I are working on your surprise. I won't peek. I can't wait to see what it is. Oh, Gwendolyn, your lunch is ready, and your cousin is waiting. Thanks, Grandma. Love, have you been taking all your medicines? Well, I'm not sure what good they're doing. I'm still stuck in this bed. Yes, you are. You're still here. Ah, oh, you know what I meant. It's just that I'm going stir-crazy in here, and I don't even want to think about all the addendums that still need approvals. Everything is taken care of, but you need to rest before you feel better. I'll rest after your birthday. I still have to prep your special batch of chocolate chip pancakes. Oh! You have baked those pancakes for my birthday for as long as I can remember. And I've truly savored each and every bite, dear, but maybe this is the year to teach the children your recipe. And you just enjoy eating breakfast with me. Nothing is going to stop me from baking those pancakes. Not even this broken arm. Well, you won't get any further argument from me. Now, can you please take your medicines? They'll make you feel better on your next inspiring adventure. All right. Fine. I'll take them. And I love you. You have always... You always find the perfect way to say things to make me feel better. Oh, that was sweet. I love you too, dear. Agatha set us out to gather the ingredients she needed to make a large batch of freeze tonic. Of course, we didn't know that's what it was for, so we did what we were told, just like good princesses. Princess Graham, I think you've earned the privilege of a trip outside the tower. Yes, you and um, Princess V will go. You must return to me with a magical hourglass before sundown, before the magic wears off. Chester? Muriel? Graham? Graham! Oh, I almost didn't recognize you with all those bumps on your arms. Were you bitten by mosquitoes, boy? And if so, uh, could you point me in their direction? <laughs> Chester! So, what brings you to Tantalor? I suppose I could ask you the same thing. Oh, honey, we retired. Sold our shop to another crafty fella. Yeah, but his crafts are of the lowest tier. Folk art. Well, I'll always have a soft spot for that big-bellied bull. Without him, we wouldn't be soaking up all this sun. Oh, I just love it here. It's so quiet and peaceful. Oh, oh, don't you forget all you can drink sardine smoothies and frog dog Fridays. <laughs> Chester, come on now. You wouldn't want to give this young lady the wrong impression. Us Hufflepods are known for thinking with our heads, and not with our bellies. Uh, last. Uh, yeah, uh, aren't you going to introduce us? Oh, apologies. How rude of me. This is V. V, meet Muriel and Chester, my good friends and wisest advisors. Pleased to meet you. And Graham is one of our favorite pupils. That he is. Oh, dearie, the stories I could share. He once outwitted a guard with a gourd. Oh, and then there was the time he solved a bridge troll dispute with a pair of socks. Did you know his best friend is a gerbil? A gerbil? Really? He has a name. It's Triumph. Most intriguing. Well, I would love to hear more sometime, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Mmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> what is she doing? Oh, she's reading your fortune. Shush it! I'm judging. Mm -hmm. Good hair, strong fingernails, perfectly textured elbows. Mm, earlobes could use some work. Mm. Thanks for that. She looks smart, Muriel. Graham, I think she's a keeper. <laughs> oh, you two will be very happy together. That's pretty forward. Muriel, times have changed. You can't just go around assuming. Just a hobble puddle, you questioning my judging face! I'm sorry, Muriel. <laughs> it was the sardine smoothie talking. Well, if it's not romance, why else would you be in beautiful Tanalore? Ah, uh, it's a long story, and I'm not... Wait a minute! Are my eyes seen straight? That isn't Hagatha's tower parked way out in the ocean, is it? Oh, you're not in cahoots with... Well, unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to say... Oh! She's always undercutting our prices. And her magic actually works. <laughs> I see you out there, you melty witch! Psst, psst, Graham. Do you think you could get Agatha to sign my copy of her greatest hits? Chester! Tell her to make it out to her number one fan. Are you serious right now? But Muriel, it's a bestseller. Oh, she's such a lizard. And not like the last dragon you faced, Graham. Which you... Which you... Wait, what did you do with that dragon again? Oh, the memory has faded. I fought it. Ah, uh, that's right. You failed to use your noggin. Please, just watch your back in that tower, Graham. Your biceps have grown, but your mind can as well. Oh, Muriel, it's getting to be that time. And what time is that? You know, time for a S-N-A-C-K. Oh, all right, Chester. Let's get you home. I think we have some leftover rat tails in the fridge. I am so glad you are my person. Both of you, come back and visit us any time. It was amazing running into you. Oh, the pleasure was all ours. Goodbye, and good luck. Always look on the smart side of life. I knew I liked her. Wow. The Tantalore shore really is beautiful. I'm not sure I see it. Huh? What are you saying? Whale? <laughs> oh, careful. I think you've stepped in a pit of quicksand. Oh, have I? Really? Let me guess. You want me to take a moment to let that sink in? No, really. It's up to your ankles now. I understand. You want to set me up for a pun war, but we've got work to do. All right. Uh, don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, huh? Help! Help! I I'm stuck! Don't worry, I won't desert you. What a wonderful friend! <laughs> Almost got it! Use an adventuring rope. <laughs> oh, if that's the type of logic you think will help, you're dreaming. Very clever. You're welcome. I got you out of the last one. It's your time to shine.
Did you try impressing her with your mind or your strength? This might be a little tricky. Oh, calm down. There's nothing there. No. Come on, let's keep going. You have a bow? Don't all princesses? I'll take this one. I got the next one. <laughs> I never miss. I got the one on the right. Bet I can shoot more than you. Bet you can't. Whoever shoots the most wins. Deal. You get the one on top. I'll take this one. I got the one on the left. You get the one on top. I got the one on bottom. Mine. Mine. Got it. Great shooting. Looks like I may have met my match. Push it this way. This mission is critical. A job for only the finest of Princess I. Let's see here. Who should I pick? Who should I pick? How about Princess Graham and Princess Nice? I'll bring me back the golden acorn and don't dilly-dally. 
This magic will only work for a limited time. <laughs> Where are we? It looks to me like the middle of the Avalon Forest. Huh. Why does that name seem so familiar? I've seen postcards. My older sister's camp tea ones. Well, let's go find that acorn. Well, not acorn acorn, but an acorn. Which way should we head? Are we... Are we... Are we having an adventure? Oh, are we going to solve riddles of a sphinx? Is there going to be a labyrinth with a minotaur? Will there be hijinks? And will they involve bridles and snakes? Can we get matching feathers? <laughs> Please? <laughs> yes to everything. Uncontrollable outbursts of excitement. Most interesting. Now, which way? West. I'm sure of it. West always sounds like an adventure. I do love that you cleared all those thorns. Wait! Don't shoot! It feels threatened! Graham, don't! I have to. Hold your fire! This wolf is going to make a mincemeat pie out of us. But it's so cute. Wait! Please don't shoot! Nice kitty. Good kitty. Calm down. Uh, niece, that's not a good idea. Uh-huh. I thought so. There you go. That should feel better. <laughs> huh. Good thing I didn't shoot. I'm very glad you didn't. Shall we continue our adventure? Most certainly. Now, how are we going to get across this? We could make a slingshot out of a rubber tree plant and launch ourselves across. No. Too obvious. Too bad Avalon doesn't have a bridge troll guild. Wait, right here. I got it. Uh, a log? Uh, how's this going to get us across? Well, it's just a start. I figured we could have some fun. And now it's your turn. Uh, my turn? Yes. Go into the woods and grab an object, but just one. When you return, add it to our creative project. Then I'll go again. Oh, maybe we could whittle a zipline or carve a giant slide. All right, my turn. You know just what to say to make a fellow feel good. I choose you. Just what 
it needed. My turn! Hmm. Not quite right yet. All right, my turn. This is the correct answer, obviously. Just what it needed. My turn. What do you think about that? All right, my turn. That one. Just what it needed. My turn. Hmm. Not quite right yet. Let's give it a go. Always, Always seek, seek adventure! adventure. Were we friends? We sure were falling hard. Now, how are we going to get across this? We could make a slingshot out of a rubber tree plant and launch ourselves across. No. Too obvious. Too bad Avalon doesn't have a bridge troll guild. Wait, right here. I got it. Uh, a log? Uh, how's this going to get us across? Well, it's just a start. I figured we could have some fun. And now it's your turn. Uh, my turn? Yes. Go into the woods and grab an object, but just one. When you return, add it to our creative project. Then I'll go again. Oh, maybe we could whittle a zipline or carve a giant slide. All right, my turn. You know just what to say to make a fellow feel good. I choose you. Just what it needed. My turn. Hmm. Not quite right yet. All right, my turn. This is the correct answer, obviously. Just what it needed. My turn! Hmm. Not quite right yet. All right, my turn. This should do the trick. That one. Just what it needed. My turn. What do you think about that? Let's give it a go. Always seek adventure! adventure. It's working! It's working! Is that a randomly placed raw steak in the middle of the woods? But niece, don't! If it's not nailed down, we grab it! <laughs> Sorry. I'm working on that. Oh, it's all right. It did look tasty. <laughs> Princess Madeline? A of Avalon? Right, it's Queen Madeline of Avalon now. Forgive me. 
<laughs> yes, yes, I'm buff now. We get it. Could you get us down, please? Thanks for that. So, what brings you back to Avalon? Oh, sounds delicate. Oh, sorry, this is Nice. She's my... my... We're working on that. Yes, we are working on that. Madeline approves. I caught that. I have heard some of his stories. Yes, the chick he played for the leprechauns. And the mushroom that made him shrink. What? He didn't break a pregnant lady out of jail? But no one loves my stories more than me, but we really should get going. Queen Madeline of Avalon, do you know where we could find the golden acorn? <laughs> well, I can't say why exactly. You'll escort us. Wonderful. <laughs> That's so true. He does always do that. So, random question. What would you say are two quirks you couldn't live with? Oh, I, I couldn't see myself with someone that's too critical or always bickering and challenging me. I like them warm-hearted. Intriguing. Me too. <laughs> well, what does that mean? Perhaps you should try this.
What a nice end to a great adventure. <laughs> Perhaps this is just the start of the adventure. Perhaps it is. Agatha took the trinkets we collected and added them to her frost tonic. She had the family she always wanted, and nothing was going to stop that. Not even time itself. That night, we couldn't wait to see if our new feelings would shatter the spell holding us in. I don't know what to say. I thought it would work. So did I. It's just a stupid spell. <gasps> Wait, niece! Come back! I had no idea what to do next. I was at a loss for words. And then over the balcony, I heard... Hup, one! Hup! Twelve! Shiny biscuits, don't fail me now! Hey, Tower! Watch the cape! No, oh, seriously, watch it! Doesn't it flow nicely in the wind? Whisper is terrified, but Whisper has learned to repress his feelings. <laughs> Whisper? King Graham, are you ready to seek adventure? Whoa, get a load of those arms. You look like Whisper feels. That's flattering, but inappropriate. Seriously, it's called Arm Day. You look like you've been on an arm decade! Hey, Whisper, that's enough. There's more to this princess than a sterling physique. Uh, uh, princess? Oh, long story. Uh, did you scale this tower looking for the love of your life, too? What? No! I was sent to rescue you! W wait, there are ladies? I wasn't informed about any ladies. <laughs> How does my name know? Well, I appreciate the thought, but I don't need rescuing. I'm doing just fine on my own, thank you. You didn't bring any adventuring rope, did you? Adventuring rope? Uh, looks like you're stuck up here with us, then. Might as well pull up a chair and try to keep it down. The others are sleeping. Whisper, shall? Whisper. I feel Whisper in on the mess I had gotten myself into. After talking a lot about himself, he gave me really bad advice, like... Well, why can't you just have two queens? And... Are you sure they don't know Whisper? After a while, he decided that the best thing we could do was write down how I felt in a love poem of sorts. Okay, let's begin. First, I'll need uh, a verb. Look, an adjective. Lovely. And an animal. Werebear. A part of the body. Ooh, cheeky. Legs. And your favorite cheese. Camembert. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Yep, that should do it. Here you go. Our love looks like a lovely werebear. And your legs are like camembert? Love, Graham. That doesn't sound too romantic. Hmm. Perhaps it needs some work. I'll leave it here so you can edit it to your liking. Thanks. Oh, and a special rabbit sent this. Someone must be looking out for you. Yeah, it's Amaya. What? No. The special rabbit is Amaya. Sorry. What I mean to say is the special rabbit is Amaya. Amaya is the special rabbit. It's okay, Whisper. I already know. Whisper's lips will whisper. Hmm, nothing more. You know, your whispering voice is louder than your normal voice, right? That's an exaggeration on your part, and you know it. Quiet! You're waking everybody up! My whisper voice wouldn't wake a baby. Someone's coming. 
Whisper should hide. If the ladies see Whisper, Graham won't stand a chance. Good idea. Whisper shall hide over the balcony. Wait, no, don't! How did you... I thought only true love is allowed to freely leave this tower. Whisper truly loves Whisper. Oh, figures. Only Whisper could love himself enough to break the spell. Whisper will leave you to it, Graham. Good luck. I'll write. That seemed to be missing a piece. She ran off to get away from them, didn't she? She did. Agatha's parents did not treat her the way a princess should be treated. They saw her powers as a threat to their kingdom, so they locked her away in a tower and threw away the key. So, all she really wanted was a family? We had that in common. Knock. <laughs> From the inside, uh, has a pretty princess joined me all the way down here? I have. Have you brought a gift? Quote, princesses must always bring a gift to those they visit. Unquote. Right, a gift. Let me get right on that. Uh, what do you think about this gift? I'm sorry. That's not a very personal gift. I picked this out special for you. I don't want to sound common, but that gift is far too cheap. Round peg, square hole. Uh, what do you think about this gift? Oh, oh. My, my. I... I'm sorry. This looks like a wonderful gift, but it's not. Hagatha, you can stop the charade. I know. You know what, beautiful? I know all about who you are, and why we're here. Do you like tea? Perhaps we should come inside. Inside? Inside is the problem. You've locked us all away inside. You've... you've... What do you have cooking in here? Oh, that! <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> Pete had no mind. Listen, there's a giant world out there, and it may not be safe, and it may not be perfect, but it's real. And it's about time you experienced it. Oh. I'm locked away by the power of this tower, too, Princess. <sighs> no one ever loved me enough to save me from its enchantment. That's nonsense. You don't need anyone else. I can't believe I'm going to quote Whisper, but 
You need to... Love yourself. You don't need anyone to rescue you. You can escape this tower by yourself. Oh, I... I I'm not ready for all that. Go on. It's time. Perhaps some words of encouragement would help? Yes. I've never heard kinder, sweeter words spoken about me. I... Well, I have to be careful not to cry as my skin will dry out. <clears throat> you are indeed a good princess. Do you want to step outside? I, I just might. Sad. I guess I'm not quite ready to leave yet. I, I, I should... Let's do it together. W what? Princess Hagatha, would you take my hand? I would love to. Thanks, Princess Grey. Or should I say, King Graham. <laughs> brought back a young soul to a very old woman. Grail! The Frost Tonic! The what? You still have to stop it! The princesses! They're still trapped inside! Adventuring room.
going to have to jump! This spell is unbroken! Kalima. Hmm. And then, you and Grandma Nice lived happily ever after. Well, we got to know each other a little better before I proposed again. Lucky for me, I got a yes on the second time, and we've lived happily most of the time. A loving marriage is worth all the hard work that goes into it, and that's no fairy tale. You can come in now. <laughs> oh, it smells delightful in here. Our table is ready, dear. You know, I've always loved this restaurant. <laughs> Happy birthday, niece. Is that... Is that... It is. <laughs> I thought it only worked with stew. Well, I rigged it to work with pancakes. Oh, what else could it do? Strawberry juice? Custard toast? Bacon berry pie? Why stop with breakfast? What about spring and roast? Hazelnut chowder? Devil eggs? <gasps> Popcorn <gasps> flavored <gasps> jelly beans! <gasps> I have never been more in love with you than I am in this very moment. Aha. Uh -huh. Gwendolyn must be ready with her surprise. Come in, sweetheart. Happy birthday, Grandma and niece. Well, thank you. I wonder what it could be. Open it. Open it. Oh, my. You made this? Sure did. I haven't had one of these in years. And such lovely colors. How did you know? A little squirrel told me. Well, it's just perfect. 
I love it. The loot is not the real present. May I? Sure. Say anything, Grandma. Just listen. This is my favorite birthday ever. Very old. <laughs> 